More than 54 teachers at the Chimota Preparatory and Junior High School in Accra risk losing their jobs as the Ghana Education Service moves in to take over management of the school. Uh, the Ghana Education Service, when Stan is saying, the private school is indebted to it following its inability to pay lease on the land acquired over 70 years ago. Management of the school has, however, threatened to resist any attempt by the GES to take over the school. Speaking to TV3, assistant headmaster of the school, Agbe Kokunocho, said the attempt by the Ghana Education Service to take over management of the school on Monday, January 27th, will not only affect students of the school, but also teachers who have been working in the school for more than 20 years. We knew that if the uh, government is taking over an institution, there are certain procedures that have to be taken. There should be a series of meetings because we've got workers working in that institution. In that said letter, it was stated that on the 24th of January, that was 2020, the management and staff should wind up our activities in the, in the school because on the 27th of January, 2020, the GS will come with their personnel, personnel to take over the school. For some teachers, the decision to take over the school will mean the end of their teaching profession. Practically, we've lost our jobs because um, we are asked to lay down our tools. Today is 24th. Lay down our tools here, 24th uh, January 2020. That's today. And the uh, GS will bring teachers to come and take over for effective 27. So that's Monday. So practically, we have been asked to just leave the place just like that. I think all the teachers who are here, who qualify as teachers, should be duly absorbed onto the government pay structure so that nobody loses his or her job. Meanwhile, management of the school is calling on all parents to send their children to school on Monday as they are going to have police protection. We know, you see, there are procedures to be taken. So we are coming to school. At least we have written letters to the Atchimota District Police to notify them of the, the ongoing situation. Parents want the internal wrangling between the Achimotha Perpetri and JHS and the GS settled in a way that it will not affect the awards. Joseph Armstrong, TV3 News, Accra. Well, this situation has been lingering for quite a while now. Edward Togbo is the interim management committee member of this school, that's the Achimota Preparatory School. He's joining me in the studio to see you right there. Uh, thank you, let's talk about for a time this evening. GS is saying that the land is not yours. You've illegally acquired, I mean, occupied it over the last 70 years. What's the issue? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, actually, the land was acquired from the Osu stool by mm -hmm. the government. And if it's about ownership of the land, then there is a court, uh, you know, process that has, you know, gone on, I think, uh, 2010 mm -hmm. by uh, the Osu uh, uh, Mankralo versus the Lands Commission. Mm -hmm. And there was a ruling which uh, reverted the lands back to the Osu uh, too. I see. So what, what, what you're trying to say is that the GES does not have any right to come and take over the school as the notice says exactly, by Monday. Exactly so. No, but are they aware of this court ruling as you're saying? Well, it's a public uh, document, so they should be aware. Now, prior to this moment, have you engaged the GES on this matter? Well, it was a, far, a first time invitation that they invited us to the regional of, uh, Greater Accra Regional uh, Office. And mm -hmm. we were told that uh, it was a discussion towards restructuring of the school. And then uh, it so happened that we met uh, the Achimota Senior High uh, Board Chairman over there, mm -hmm. Achimota Basic School Headmistress over there, and then uh, there was also uh, that letter copied to Honorable Fuseni. Uh, he is, uh, I think, an MP in our area, and then uh, also to Achimota Senior High Headmistress. Okay. Yes, Honorable Fuseni was able to come. Okay. So what, what was the outcome of that meeting? Yes. It was put blunt to us that they were going to take over mm -hmm. from us in the sense that our school was uh, on a government land and mm -hmm. so the school belongs to government. 
And logically, it didn't make sense to us. And it was unreasonable. And then also, she also said, uh, uh, that is the regional director. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She also said, since it was a government school, mm -hmm. uh, we had no right to be mm -hmm. taking school fees. I see. But do you owe the landowners? Uh, as far as we are aware, we don't owe them. Have you ever paid some monies to the, the Osu stool, as you're talking about, for occupying this land over the period? Well, since the land was acquired for educational purposes, and... Who acquired the land for educational purposes? The government, on behalf of, you know... Yes, and you're telling me that in 2010, there was a court ruling that reverted the ownership back to the Osu stool. That's right. Right? So, yes. so that means that it, it just took off the, the, the government's hands of that particular land. Yes. So you had to make, make some payments for, as it were, occupying the land. Well, uh, and that's, I just wanted to find out if yeah, that's yeah. the case. Is. Uh, as far as we are concerned, in fact, this matter came up actually, and mm -hmm. uh, our lawyer, you know, with us went to uh, have a meeting with the Achimota Senior High School. And right. in that meeting, uh, okay. When they uh, demanded that, we asked for a copy of uh, any such lease that ever existed. I see. Because they were claiming that there was such a lease, lease. and we had refused to pay. Okay. Let, uh, hold on a bit for me. Robert Abledo is the GES Accra Region Public Relations Officer. He joins me on the telephone. Mr. Abledo, good evening to you. Uh, thank you for your time this good evening. Now, first of all, are you aware of this, are you aware of this court ruling in 2010 concerning this particular land? Okay, good evening to your viewers and listeners. Mr. Blodo, I'll, I'll plead with you if you could lower the volume of your TV set and listen to me on the telephone. I think that will okay. help. Great. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, good evening to your listeners. And then uh, thank you very much for doing a good job for Mother Ghana. Uh, all that I can say about this uh, uh, issue is I'm even surprised. This issue has been moving back and forth. We're almost three years now about this particular school. They were invited to the place, uh, to the regional director's place. Even last year there was a meeting. And they'll come with a lot of excuses and all those things. What we're saying is that the children over there are Ghanaian children. They need to school. Achimota Preparatory School is a private entity. And you cannot operate on a government land so we are taking the premises that's all the children parents should not worry at all they should bring the children to the school and then make sure that children will go through the process education there okay so there is no cause for alarm well, well so are you taking over the management of the school on monday exactly yes, yes. we are taking over the premises on monday and have you asked this current management whom you want to take over from uh, to pay monies that they have refused to pay over the period? <laughs> oh, it's sad I'm not in the studio to uh, explain all these things. There have been a lot of correspondence between the management and the, and the uh, uh, GS, the Regional Education Directorate. So uh, issues concerning money for payment for the use of the premises was not an issue at all. Well, I, I just issue. want to find they out if they really have made up. any payments. All that we are saying is that. You know, I just was, I'm asking if they've made any payments to you. Or you no, asked no, them no, to not, make payments and they didn't. Not at all. Not at all. They've not done that. But, well, I, the decision to take over the management of the school in the middle of the term, are you thinking about the impact that is going to have on the kids? Are these children? We are managers of education in Greater Accra region, and then we have the children at heart, and that is not going to affect uh, the running of the school. We've made provisions for them. Teachers are ready to, to be uh, posted to their place. Qualified heads are there. There is going to be counseling process for the children, and it will be smooth. So, so what happens to the teachers of the school now? Oh, well, it's a private entity. Achimota Preparatory, JHS, recruited teachers in that school, right? 
So they should take care of their teachers. Right. Are you, are you, are you, Mr. Bloody, are you saying that you're going to lay off all these, what, 54 teachers <laughs> and bring in new we, ones? We, we don't own the school, so we can't lay off the people. I mean, you're, you're going to take over the management of the school. <laughs> and, and so, I, if you don't have any plan for the teachers, and you're saying that you have the children at heart, these are the teachers who have been teaching the children. They're used to the style of teaching. And this See, is half if, through the if, time. If during so the how do we do with the, uh, the directorate of the school, they should bring up on all those things. And the regional directorate is always open to stakeholders for any engagement that they would like for progress of education in the region. So those things are up to them to make this in. So I wish that probably they bring up these are new developments that they've been making this now. It's sad I'm not there to actually give you most of the document correspondence and all those things, some of the things they wrote to the regional director and all those things. But then uh, let's, the, the Gambian child needs to access to quality education, and that is our paramount. Uh, anyway, uh, Mr. Blody, thank you. I honestly, just really for the want of time, we would want to end it here, but it's something that we're going to stay... Uh, the steam on in our subsequent bulletins, get some more on this. But Robert Ablode is the public relations officer of the GS Accra region. I want to quickly round up with you. So what, what it appears to really be the case is that the GS is resolute. Monday, they are taking over the management of the school. What next for you? Well, we, we've written to them that uh, we, we will be taking a legal action against their uh, forceful takeover because uh, it's it doesn't, you know, uh, they don't have any justification to do what they are doing. Uh, okay. This is Mother Ghana, and we have laws in the country. In the worst case scenario, we should, you see, you were asking him what you have made, you know, what, what plans they have made for the teachers, you see. And so all these things should, should be in place so that if there should be a, a takeover, then there should be proper compensation and anything that will make a peaceful takeover in the worst case scenario. And this school has existed for how long? Over 70 years. Over 70 years. That's right. I see. Mr. Togbo, thank you thank for you your time this evening. Edward right. Togbo is an interim management committee member of the Achimota Preparatory School.